Good evening to you. I am Justin Akadonye and this is the news now on Plus TV Africa. After a delayed plenary, the Senate has asked the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to considerably adjust its recently announced cash withdrawal limits in response to the public outcry against the new policy. The upper chamber, in its resolution, also asked its committee on banking and finance to embark on aggressive oversight of the Apex Bank as it implements the policy and give periodic reports to the Senate. Now, the Senate's resolution was reached after an exhaustive debate by the lawmakers who attended plenary. Now, some lawmakers argued that the withdrawal threshold set by the CBN is unrealistic considering the economic situation in the country. They faulted the CBN for not holding wide consultations on the policy before its announcement, while some legislators argued that the policy will put point of sale operators out of business. In addition, some lawmakers said the policy would adversely affect Nigerians in the informal sector, the unbanked, and those in the rural communities. Central Bank should reconsider their decision and put us back the same amount they had in Abia, Lagos, Kano. They should do 500,000 per day for individual, and they will do 3 million per day for corporates. That will cover any fear of anybody. The CBN approved POS, um, POS uh, operators and registered them and took monies from them, no matter how little. And now, those people can only do so little. It took so many people off the roads. It took all our employ unemployed graduates off the streets. Now, they're going to be thrown back with this policy if an amendment is not done. Mr. President, there's a big elephant in the, in the room. Why is this happening during an election period? Why is it that it is coming now when we have an election just a little over a month ahead? There is a need to be flexible in what we are doing.